completed by 8 seconds. Marty Hill. Tapos kay Achi for 3. Yes! And with 12.7 seconds, that's the Makati Army. Coming off that timeout, Villa Hermosa being tracked down. Three-pointer is good para dito kay Jopper Custodio and they do get the last save. So this third quarter, that's where we find ourselves dito po sa ating Mercado. Inalabas, Marte, can you try again? Sabi dito, bigay mo na natin sa gilid dyan. Mahari on the attack. Yes! They nearly did of the defense there. Acuna, natapikan and another turnover here. They're trying to get it to the inside and the defense is ready and a layup there para Elasco. And we'd like to thank our friends from uh, Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority Pati na rin ang Central Luzon Task Force Marami salamat sa inyong pagtulong sa atin dito Is back Uh-oh, Marquez left open That's a free throw for Joseph Marquez, really Don't leave this guy that Nine-point lead Finally get it inside to Polina, try to get it into Sandy Danielle. Somehow it found its way there. Trying is working, but John Polina and Danielle found the way there. And a turnover once again. And to na pagahabol na hinihintay para si Epes. Rostagas open for three, bothered by the defense. Maganda na takuan dito. Nito kupo na ng Epes D. Makati Army. Motol! Dario on the penetration. He has been quiet today. Outlet pass, Francisco, one man to beat, and he does beat Marquez. This lead is down to one. 48 to 44, Bong Ating score. Here's Villa Hermosa. Getting it over now to John Colina. Floater does not work. Tip in is gone, however. John Colina, his first. Acuna using the pick coming from Gallardo. Coming off the screen, Joffrey Custodio announces his presence with that three. to play, they leave Acuna open, big mistake for 7A Primos. Here's Vito on the hook shot, that one rolls in for Jello Vito. And a steal by Marquez who scores! Sneaky, sneaky move! And Diego will reset this one. Diego Dario ngayon. Nice fake, Dario from 18. Good! Back to 7 8 Primus. Dario weaving and dealing. Niwanyang and defender. And Gallardo left wide open. 10 seconds to shoot now for Jesmar Villahermosa. Gets it out now, Gallardo for three. How about that? The big man has rain. Go for gold. Fourth quarter na tayo. Noel Zarate, kasama pa rin po si Evan Cabiles. At ito po ang ating Phil Basket Subic Championship presented by Coco Live. Oh! -ho! When they started employing their full court press right. and started running and hunting. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Heads up play wow. for Lasco! So 60 to 57 ang ating score. And the uh, quarter scoring, may kita natin. This is the third quarter that FSD used to catch their Hermosa. And here is Joffrey Custodio, also part of that run. Six three pointers in the game. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Villarmosa trying to lose his defenders. He gets clipped on the arm, makes the shot. End one situation. In the radio. Yeah, we, we talked about that actually also before when he was in the PBA dealing in the meantime. A stretch. And ito na si Sandy Senyal. Gusto mga nabaw against a smaller defender there in Mahari. And he does exactly that. Making his presence felt inside. Trading basket. Inigo took the contact and hit the floater. Near the logo. Marquez bringing it down. Joseph Marquez takes it all the way. Here's Achi Inigo. Getting it now. Mahari elbow jumper. That's good. Picked up by Achi Inigo. 
Jello Vito going cross court now. Dario catching two three. Yes! So here's Vito. Over now to Dario. And it's momentarily open there. Jello Vito for three. Finally! Again, the U in favor of 7A Primus. Acuna. Francisco. Pahigantira ang ginawa. Army. Villarmos on the drive. And he will score. 7A Primus. Dario asking for the pick once again. Gets it out to Joseph Marquez. Straight away three. Good! 12 seconds remaining. This is still a two possession lead for 7A Primos. Villa Hermosa, quick release. No. Francisco follow up. Yes. And he cuts it down to a three point lead. And Marquez makes sure. So Acuna ngayon. Trying to get it across. Puts it up and off the glass, and that's going to do it. 7A Primos had a nine point lead, lost that lead. They were down by eight in the fourth quarter, but somehow found a way to climb back and win it. 84 to 79 against FSD Makati Army. So, win number one, one win, one loss na para dito sa kupuna na 7A Primos. That is right. On our, on our second day, grabbing exciting mga games dito sa Pink Basket Noel. The army almost had the away for the start of the third and last game of our daily triple header here at Field Basket Subic Championship presented by Coco Life. We are in Subic Bay Gymnasium in Zambales. My name is Eman Cabiles alongside Javi Palanya and this will be the battle of the undefeated M Trans Buraque de la Ia Batanga City Tanduay Athletics versus on one night's go for gold. That's right, I'm an exciting final game here. Of course, our first game went into overtime. 
And then sa second game natin, Davo Occidental Tigers got to dispose of medical people right away. Titingnan natin if we will have a great game to close out our fifth game day dito sa Phil Basket Subi Championship. Oh, absolutely. Both teams undefeated. Both teams medyo opposite ang playing styles, no? Uh, San Juan Knights go for gold, really like to run. Meanwhile, ito namang entrance, Buraki de la Ia, Batanga City, Tanduay Athletics. Though they have young players also, pero they, they consider themselves uh, the older team. Alright, here are stats of Mtrans from their previous game against FSD Makati Army. They shot 40 out of 67 from the field compared to FSD's 36 out of 80. From the three-point area, they shot 13 out of 22 compared to just 3 of 19. Assist department, they ruled that as well. 34 to 21. Bench points, they dominated that. 58 to 39. That is right. And now we're waiting for the, the stats of the last game of San Juan. At Burlington EOG against San Juan Knights. Of course, San Juan won that game 77 to 69. They shot 30 out of 70 from the field. Had 27 points off turnovers compared to just 13 for Burlington. They lorded it over on the second chance points and fast break points as well. 21 and 18 respectively. Yes, both teams dominating their last opponents. So coming up, entrance Buracay de la Ia, Batanga City, Tanduay Athletics versus San Juan Knights go for gold. We turn you over to our stadium announcer, Kurt Ken Pangilinan. Lucio Romano Lentino, referee Juan Romano Lentino, and 
And here are starters for M Trans Buraki de la Union de la Ia Batanga City Tanduay Athletics. We have Adi Santos, Chito Jaime, Gabi Espinas at center, Pamboy Raimundo and Marcy Arellano manning the back court. Samantalang Spanik the San Juan Knights, Larry Rodriguez and Arvin Gamboa joining JM Calma up front. Alvin Abunda and Orlan Wamar in the back court for San Juan Knights go for gold. And the first five is brought to you by TM Easy Surf 99. And here we go. The battle of two undefeated teams here at Field Basket Subic Championship brought to you by Coco Life. Entrance wins the tap. Pamboy Raimundo. Medyo familiar yung, ano, yung same lineup, same first five ng Entrance, no? Yeah, that's right. And uh, San Juan as well going with their usual starting five. Right. And one night's now on the attack. Abundo, mutiga na mawala ng lugar. Wamar for three. Calma. Sky's eye for that, looking for a foul. Orlan Wamar, the player of the game in their two wins for San Juan Knights go for gold. He's also the leading three point shooter dito sa ating torneo. He has nine so far in two games for the Red Shirts. Now that was a good matchup. Gabi Espinas versus Larry Rodriguez. The veterans that time, Espinas got the better of Rodriguez. Well, Gabi Espinas looking to make up for lost time. He only played 14 minutes in their last ball game. Although it was a win, he only scored six points. Not really usual for Gabi Espinas, but because Entrance is such a deep team, he could afford these kinds of performances because he knows that some of the players will pick up the slack. Exactly. Last game nila. Pag lumalabas si Espinas, umuulan ng tres from Ken Bono. Meanwhile, natawagan ng foul doon si Larry Rodriguez uh, of the rebound. So that's his first foul. And that's his second foul. Holding oh, that's, again. That's not a good thing right. for M. Trans. That's his second, second team foul. Force and one, rather. Uh, two quick fouls by, by their main center, Larry Rodriguez. So let's see kung ilalabas ba sa kagad dito. Marcy Arellano. And another foul is called. This time on on, Pal on Calma. Jim Calma napasabi ni Santos there. Marcy now to Jaime. Pomboy will drive and he will commit the charging. Vi yes, the charging violation on Pomboy Raimundo. 2 0 pa rin po ang ating score. Magdadalawang minuto na ang nakakaraan dito sa first quarter of play. Orlan Mumar, of course, the one drawing that charge there from the stand out out of San Sebastian. But talking about Orlan Mumar. 5'7 guard who idolizes Mark Barroca. Also played for Marinero and San Juan as well in the MPBL. That's right, Avi. And napapansin ko lang, medyo the referees early on, they're trying to establish their control in this game. Oh yeah, definitely. They don't want this game to get out of hand. Yes. Meanwhile, Larry Rodriguez with a jumper there ties the score 2-2. We'd like to thank our friends from Subic Bay, SBMA, Central Luzon Regional Task Force. Marami salamat po, sirs. Sa inyong tulong dito sa Phil Basket Subic Championship. Back tayo sa game. Nakaagaw si Wamar. And he will go all the way for the lefty layup. Wamar getting the better out of Pamboy Raimundo on that speed to the basket. So lumamang na po ang San Juan Knights go for gold. 4-2. to two. 7 minutes, 35 seconds left. This is the first quarter. Gabi Espinas now. He will shoot the three. That one short. Oh, that's not a shot that Gabi Espinas usually takes. Abundo now. Now, Abundo was instrumental in their last win, Javi. Yung defense niya kay Fran Yu. Yes, that's uh, right. right. Abundo, also one of our leading assist men here with 13 Already in this tournament, Andre Arminion leads that category with 21. 
Meanwhile, Larry Rodriguez, dalawang sunod para sa kanya. Score is now 6 to 2. 6 minutes 51 seconds left. Jaime open momentarily, pero nakover na siya ni Larry Rodriguez. Now, Pambo is looking for space. Gabi Espinas. He will be trapped and he will force that one. Blocked. Oh, great defense there by Gamboa. The much more experienced Gabi Espinas. Speaking of Gamboa, Gamboa puts that one in. However, will that count? Arvin Gamboa has been playing very well here for Coach Randy Alcantara early on in sa ating torneo. Yes, it does. The, sh the shot by Gamboa he has shown, counted. Yeah, he yeah, has but, shown that he can uh, deliver both on the offensive and defensive end. The shot of Gamboa was counted. However, may foul na tinawag ulit doon kay JM Calma. So, dalawa na rin si Calma. Oh, that's not a good sign right. for Coach Randy Alcantara. 6-16 pa natitira dito sa ating first quarter. Gabi Espinas way out of his comfort zone. Gets it to Pamboy. Pamboy. Three on the shot clock. And they are running. San Juan Knights, that is. One more corner, three. Rattles out. Mars Arellano fighting for that loose ball. And he gets it to a teammate. Chito Jaime, back to Rimundo. Gabi Espinas on the block, mismatch there. Pero, good defense by San Juan Nice, Clarito. Five to shoot. Jaime, wayward shot. Looking for a foul, walang tinawag si ref. Meanwhile, Larry Rodriguez trying to sprint. And at least he gets the foul from Gabi Espinas that time. But Gabi Espinas vehemently denying that he touched Larry Rodriguez yes. on that possession. Claiming all ball was Gabi Espinas. But of course our referees think otherwise. And that's why Larry Rodriguez, who also has two fouls to his name early on in this ball game, troops to the free throw line for two shots. I'd like to correct myself, Javi. You know, I said uh, Abundo was instrumental uh, in their last game because of his defense against Franjo. Hindi pala, kay Byron pala. Byron Villarias. Check that. Anyway, the score is 8-2. to two. Lamang pa rin po ang San Juan Knights. Go for goal. Larry Rodriguez on the free throw brought to you by Wilson. Wilson, our official basketball at Phil Basket Subic Championship. Larry makes the first free throw. Steady, steady. Tong si Larry Rodriguez. Larry Rodriguez only had six points in their last game against Burlington EOG. Against Burlington EOG. And he now goes out with two fouls, pero six points. So with five minutes, 17 seconds left, dito sa first quarter. Isa pa lang ang nasusoot ng entrance Boracay de la Ia Batanga City Tanguay Athletics. And a miscue there between Grimaldo and Ken Bono. Ball goes back to San Juan Knights. And we're now at the halfway mark of the first quarter. Turnover story 3-1. San Juan Knights with a lesser turnover count early on in this ball game. That shot was way too short, uh, parang partially blocked. Anyway, Amtrans now on the attack. Ken Bono is open for three. He fires. Not that time. And that was his first miss since the last game. He was four for four from that distance in their game against Makati FSD. That, that is right. He can't miss uh, in, in his last game, you know, from three. However, Bono commits that foul against Bunyag. And the timeout is called by M. Transburake de la Ia. The timeout is brought to you by Astig Roasters Coffee.
we're back. Eman Kabilis po alongside Javi Palanya. Four minutes, 27 seconds left in the first quarter of the third game of our daily triple header Dito's of Field Basket Subic Championship brought to you by Coco Life. Shots for Christian Munya. And San Juan zooming to an early eight point lead here with 427 left. Dito sa ating first quarter. Christian Bunyag, however, airballs that first free throw. It's uh, very uncharacteristic for Mtrans to start this flat, no? Yes, that is right. Uh, ang sabi pa naman ni, ni Coach Mac Tan of, of Mtrans Boracay is what he aims to do is control the tempo. He knows that San, San Juan is a very quick team, but he, he wants to match their intensity and hopefully control the tempo. That's right. Intensity is the right word here. Someone who's a very intense team who likes to play on both sides of the basketball. Coach Randy Alcantara emphasizes the importance of defense in the success of all the teams he has coached. And so far, it has been working wonders because San Juan is off to a 2-0 start Dito sa start ng ating torneo. Let's see if newly sub Fr Fran Yu will will make a difference here para sa entrance Ken Bolo's pass Laude could not control and still 3 minutes 54 seconds na lang ang natitira dito sa, sa first quarter 2 points pa lang ang entrance Buraki de la Ia Batanga City Tanduay Athletics and this is a team that's loaded with players who can shoot right. score the basketball very uncharacteristic that's right for Mtrans to be down and to just shoot two points in this ball game. Meanwhile, Fran Yu getting the better of that call against Renz Manzo. So San Juan Knights here implementing full court pressure. Fran Yu will bring it down. We'd like to acknowledge Coco Life, our official partner here in Field Basket Subic Championship. Coco Life. Finally, a basket for M Trans Buraki de la Ia Batangas City Tanduay Athletics, courtesy of Pamboy Raimundo. A three nonetheless, so it's 5 11 with three minutes 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Clarito will shoot it and will make it. John Clarito. Clarito picking up where he left off in their last game. He had 12 points in that win against Burlington EOG. That was our grab delivery assist of the game brought to you by Grab. Pamboy Raimundo kicks it out. Loud and no. Two minutes, 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Clarito. And a screwdriver there by Nohum. That was smooth. Oh, Adrian Nokum, one of the leaders in field goal percentage. Dito sa field basket, 61.5, good for fourth place on that totem pole. Meanwhile, Ken Bono misses that one. Sampuna po ang lamang ng San Juan Knights go for gold against Entrans, 15 to 5. Meron pa tayong dalawang minuto, 14 segundo na natitira sa first quarter. Was it really a good foul given up there by Jogi Laude that puts his team in the penalty with 2.14 left in this ball game? Sorry, in the first quarter of this ball game. And the foul line shooting two is Jonar Clarito. Jonar Clarito now. Looking to put more points. Para lumaki ang kalamangan ng San Juan Knights. Second shot of Jonar Garito. Rolls out. However, a late violation is going to be called. So automatic. Malik sa entrance ang bola. Pamboy to Fran Yu. They're having trouble bringing the ball down because of this this defense by San Juan Knights. Fran Yu looking for the screen. 
He gets it. Step back. No, no room to shoot. Talaga. Ten to shoot now. Franu lets it fly. Wala. Gabi picks it up. Espinas to the corner for Pamboy Raimundo. Sorry, missed there. One minute, 46 seconds. 11 point lead being enjoyed by San Juan Knights. Go for gold. Screened by Bunyag for Wamar. Back to Bunyag. Three is on the way. No, Laude grabs that one. Pambo Raimundo didn't see Manzo behind him. Adrian Nocum, one of the fiercest defenders that we've seen here dito sa Phil Basket Subic Tournament. Right. So, uh, sa ito yung description mo, Javi, no? flat na flat yung start ng entrance dito sa yeah, game. This is so unlikely right. for the white shirt. And I'm sure Coach Mactan will have something to say sa ating quarter break. No? Or Beta, meanwhile, stepped on the line after that fake and drive. So, 1 minute 14 seconds left in the quarter. Still 16 to 5 in favor of San Juan Knights. Go for gold. You have to note that on the side of M Trans, they have three players who will not see action in today's ball game. Oh, that's right. That's Jeff Viernes, Aaron Aban, who is out with black back spasms, and Simon Rogado uh, has an injured thumb. Meanwhile, Gabi Espinas' drive generated a foul at least, and he will go for, uh, to the line. Jeff Viernes naman eh, kakarating lang dito sa ating bubble and is still completing his quarantine. Right, protocols. And uh, we are awaiting his clearance para he can see action. I'm sure everybody's excited to see Mr. Viernes on the court once again. Meanwhile, sa side naman at San Juan Knights, uh, Ren Sabando uh, still has not yet been cleared Para sa, para sa kanyang ailment, which is not COVID-related. But I'm sure he will be back soon. It's another guy that uh, everybody's waiting to see action on the court. I'm sure he'll be good in no time. Tuloy po tayo mga langin para sa ikabubuti ni Ren Sabando. Meanwhile, 48 seconds left. And that shot was blocked. So the foul is called on Gabi Espinas. And since penalty na, San Juan will shoot two. Lamang pa rin sila. 16 to 7 with 44.9 seconds left in the first quarter. And to add insult to injury, that is also Gabi Espinas' second foul. So pareho lang sila ni Larry Rodriguez, yung kanyang katapat at the start of this game. And Gabi Espinas. And Gabi Espinas will, will go out. Celada, the best player of the game in, the, in their last outing, comes in. That's right. He had 15 points, 4 out of 7 from 3-point country, 5 rebounds and 3 assists. Kaliwat ka ng corner 3 sa mga pinakawalan ni Celada right. nun eh. And yung nakakagulat pa dun, Adrian Celada is tied with Gabi Espinas for number 2 in field goal percentage sa buong liga wow. at 66.7 and that's with him shooting threes yes Gabi Espinas sa malapit tumitira that's si Celada right. sa malayo pero tied sila sa field goal percentage grabe it was Celada now to Marcy Marcy back to Celada 6 to shoot Celada lays it up no and the red shirts are running Bunyag will lay it up and in 15 seconds left in the game in the first quarter rather. Fran Yu generated a foul there. Not be proud at number 27. So one night go for gold. Up 19 to 7 Fran against Yu. M Trans Boraki de la Ia, Batanga City, Tagoy Athletics. Of course, Fran Yu playing for the Letra Knights in the NCAA. When we asked him uh, during our quote-unquote media day, 
uh, kung maglalaro pa siya sa Letran. Sabi niya, yeah, tatapusin niya rin yung kanyang yes. playing years. Uh, and the uh, NCAA... Two years pa, no? Yeah, two, two years, years pa. And the NCAA plans to hold a tournament uh, this coming year, uh, mga Feb- badang February or March daw. Lalakas pa lalo siya after field basket to be championship. Meanwhile, Nokum will lose that one. Four seconds left, three seconds. Celada from Zambales. Almost, but no cigar. The score at the end of the first quarter is 8 for Entrance, Buhawa, Nila, Ia, Pachanga, City, Tantuay, Athletics. So, ito na po ang ating score. 19 to 8, lamang pa rin ang San Juan Knights. Magbabalik po kami. now for the second quarter of the third game today and yes we'd like to greet Senator Jingoy Estrada team owner of San Juan of San Juan Knights go for gold second quarter. welcome to the bubble sir second quarter brought to you by grab food Lamang San Juan Knights go for gold dito 19 to 8 corner 3 Bounces out. Fran Yu with a rebound. He will streak. He will put up that floater and he will get it. That's something Fran Yu has mastered, especially in the first few games of this tournament. Has been one of his go to shots whenever he goes down the lane. First quarter field goal. Two out of 18 para sa entrance. Samatalang asan one night. Seven out of 14. 50% from the field. That's why they are up. 19 to 10. At ito na yata yung matching the intensity na sinasabi ni Coach Mack. Two white shirts there diving for the ball against uh, Abundo. Fran Yu getting a warning for faking a foul. And going back to what you were saying kanina, Emma, no? uh, sabi nga ni Coach Mack, Tan, na uh, they you have to match the intensity yes. ng San Juan Knights dito sa ball game na ito in order for them to be successful. Titingnan natin kung uh, maging totoo na nga ba yung sinasabi ni Coach Mactan. So far, we see the the extraordinary effort you know, as always every night naman yan eh. For, coming from Fran Yu, di ba? And and of course uh, si Marcia Arellano. Pero the score is still 19 to 10. Shot there by Grimaldo is good. Jason Grimaldo with a one-hander off a bounce pass by Marcy Arellano. Reminds me of Alvin Patrimonio back in the day. And Nelson Asaitono even. Oh yeah, Nelson Asaitono. Meanwhile, yung tira ni Larry Rodriguez, hindi pumasok. Marcy Arellano will set it up for entrance. He finds Celada, but Celada couldn't find the ring. Celada so far all out of two to begin this ball game. Still haven't found the bottom of the net. Palagay ko na markahan nare sa pagkatapos ng outing niya last game, because there's always a body in front of Celada. Eight minutes, twenty-one seconds, ang natitira sa second quarter, twelve to nineteen ang score. Kahit papano na ibabana ng ng entrance ang lamang ng San Juan to seven at sa kanila pa ngayon ang possession. Yeah, we mentioned kanina that Orlan Mamar was the best player of the ball game. Dun sa kanilang dalawang panalo for San Juan Knights go for gold. He has yet to find his range. 
dito sa laro kalaban ng Emtrans. Only two points to his name. Pero syempre, dami pang oras na natitira dito sa ating second quarter. I think Orlan Wamar now is, is more focused on defense. Look how he's, he's chasing Franu all over the court. And shot clock run out on Grimaldo. And you're right, it's not an easy job to track down Fran Yu all over the court, especially that he's so fast and he's everywhere. Right. So this timeout is brought to you by Astig Roasters Coffee. Seven minutes, 54 seconds remaining dito sa ating second quarter. Lamang pa rin po ang San Juan Knights go for goal 19 to 12. Meanwhile, Fran Yu stealing that one. Passes to Adi Santos and fast break completed. Great pass there by Fran Yu to the trailing Adi Santos on that play. Trimming the lead of San Juan to just five. That is right, Avi. Franyo now being guarding Abundo, Larry Rodriguez again. Hindi pumasok that time. And the ball goes back to Emtrans, Buraki, De La Ia, Batangay City, Tanguay Athletics. After a somewhat flat start, Emtrans now living up to its billing here. Unti-unti nang tinatapyasan ang lamang. And giving a dose of its own medicine, but uh, almost a turnover there. Undergoal stab. By Santos. Santos back to back baskets. Dikit na. 16 to 19. Tatlo na lang ang lamang ng San Juan. Clarito, jumper. We'd like to acknowledge and thank you, Subic Bay SBMA Central Zone Regional Task Force, for your assistance. Dito sa bubble ng Phil Basket. Marcia Arellano now being hounded by Abundo. He will take it in, but he will miss the shot. So Abundo. And Ooh, a little my, color developing right. here. Players are requesting please Extra please motions please right please. there away from the ball. Donner Clarito is down right. on the floor here. If I'm not mistaken, that was uh, involving Celada or Adi Santos. I believe it was Celada. It's Celada, right? Na nakabanggaan niya dun sa play na yun. Tingnan natin sa ating instant replay what transpired. Yeah, because it was away from the ball. And, it and was we, away from the ball. Right, we, were, we were looking at the ball. <laughs> Meanwhile, 6 minutes, 18 seconds, and the Radito is the second quarter, and the play is top. San Juan Knights go for goal, still up by 5, 21 to 16 against Entrance, Buraki de la Ia, Batangas City, Tanduay Athletics. Well, Commissioner Jai Reyes, together with the referees, reviewing that last sequence. Yes, Commissioner Jai Reyes, always on top of, of things. Dito sa Field Basket Subic Championship brought to you by Coco Life. And we'd like to commend the wonderful work that uh, Commissioner Jai Reyes and his team has been doing uh, actually even before this tournament, no? Oh, yes. Uh, 
talagang yeah. kaayod. Oh yeah, they have done a splendid job. Right. And and he does not stop, di ba? He always checks di ba? from from sunrise to sundown. He checks everything and makes sure everything runs. Oh you know Meanwhile, I think we have we uh, the the refs have reached a decision here. In Celada. And there you go, Andrian Celada. Call for the Anspo. So he will have to sit down for a few minutes. Uh, Andrian Celada, that is. And Carito will shoot uh, free throws. Para dun sa uh, sportsman like foul na tinawag against Celada. But in his place, it's going to be Manzo. Is that correct? Okay, this is kind of weird here. They allow the substitution. Jonard Clarito was substituted by June Manzo, and therefore June is taking the free throws in his stead. And he missed the first one. So I know that they only allow that if the the player that should have uh, gotten the the bonus shots is incapable, diba? Of That's right. Standing and or shooting. And it looks like, naman, na. Clarito is still on the San Juan bench. Uh, well, anyway, moving on. Edna, San Juan protecting a five-point lead with six minutes left in the second quarter. Gamboa shoots the jumper. Larry Rodriguez lost it to Fran Yu. Pero Fran Yu lost it to Manzo. And another foul is called in Celada. Referees are tightening, and tightening up. It's already two on Celada. And I guess I have to correct myself because Kanina, after the unsportsmanlike foul, I thought Celada had to sit down. But apparently, uh, he was allowed to, to play. So, the game goes on here. Abundo to Gamboa. 17, mahaba haba pa shakla, pero Abundo lets it fly in and out. Fran, you now with control. Alvin Abundo, one of our former BBA players seeing action here sa ating torneo. This is Laude to Fran Yu. Gabi Espinas will provide the pick back to Gabi. Gabi will shoot the three in and out also. That's already two attempts. Right. By Mr. Espinas from Rainbow Country. Papasok din yan. <laughs> Meanwhile, five minutes, 11 seconds left. Hindi pa rin gumagalaw ang score natin, no? And Fran, you another rebound. I've mentioned this before, yung, yung last game nila. Because I, I, I noticed, ang daming, ang, ang lakas humatak ng rebounds itong si Fran, you for a guard, ha? Huh? Well, again, you don't need to be super tall yes. or bulky to be able to dominate the boards all you have to do is have a good nose for the ball and how do you do that have good timing exactly it's not something that you practice sometimes you sometimes you're born with it or sometimes you know you have to gain experience in order for you to master it that is right pero at, at this at this age major rare yung mga rebounding high rebounding guards you know kasi yung mga guards Ngayon, even the centers, gusto sa tres titire, wala nang gusto rin i-bound. <laughs> but I think that's also one factor why uh, there are high rebounding guards, especially in today's game, no? Because, yun nga, uh, a lot of the centers. big men are already outside and right. sometimes it falls on right. the responsibility of the guards to color their rebound. Right. Good, good point, good point there, partner. Meanwhile, Marcia Arellano will settle things down for, for entrance. They're still looking at a 23 to 16 disadvantage here. And Adi Santos couldn't make that undergo shot. Clarito will pass to Manzo. Manzo's floater. 
Clarito's put back, and that is in. Clarito announcing his entry back into the ball game with that put back. And we have a timeout brought to you by Astig Roasters Coffee. back four minutes seven seconds left dito sa ating first half we are on our third game of the fifth day of field basket we take a look at that last play John R. clarito fighting tooth and nail for that rebound and that basket that's right junior clarito again picking up where he left off in that last game he had 12 points in their win against burlington eog sports now he has seven to his name and we're just in the first half more to come. That's right. And San Juan Knight still leading 25 to 16 ng entrance. And we'd like to say good evening to our Matiponong Commissioner, Commissioner Jai. Sir, the Jainamite Jai Reyes. Yon, the Jainamite. The one and only. <laughs> Back to the ball game. Three minutes, 56 seconds left. It's a first half. Marcellino will use that pick brings it to Ken Bono in the inside parang hindi pa nakaka-score si Ken Bono uh, tonight no meanwhile Manzo out to Clarito Nocum will drive but he will get a foul from Grimaldo Already a 13 foul for M Trans Boracay. Samantalang zero pa for Sun one night to go for gold. Three minutes and 31 left to adding first half. Yes, and Sun one night still leading 25 to 16. Manzo now. Federito thinking three. Decides to for the jumper, and that is good. Is it stopping here, Eman? Right. Wang yung unsportsmanlike foul na yes. inumit sa kanya ni Salada kanina eh, fired him up even further. That was actually our TikTok move of the game. Marcia Arellano weaving his way inside. Well, Marcia Arellano, of course, still capable of doing those things here. Right. Moving that. Uh, Age is merely a number. <laughs> the executive of the year of entrance. Three on the way, too strong. Pamboy Remundo, lead pass stolen by Nogum. And now Bunyag will travel first before dribbling the ball. That was the right call there by our referees. So two minutes, 32 seconds left in the half. 27 18 and one night still up. Champagne's part still up because team owner Jingoy Estrada is in the house. Oh, Welcome definitely. to the bubble, sir. Mambo Raimundo using that bono pick. Celada will check that. Uh, that's Grimaldo who tried the three. Abundo asking for a clear out. Now Clarito. Oh, Abundo. Awkward shot. Still makes it. So 29-18. One minute 54 left in the first half. Marcia Arellano. Grimaldo. And Jaime. Ball tapped out by Bunyan. Good hustle by Bunyan right there. Almost nine seconds a steal left. there. Yeah. Right, nine seconds left on the shot clock for Amtrans. Let's see what they can do with nine seconds. 
Marcy out to Ken Bono. Ken Bono holding it. Five seconds to shoot. Bono spins. Still rims out, but Grimaldo is there for the putback. That's still zero points for Ken Bono in this ball game. Uh, in his last game, sabi ko, sobrang ganda ng gising niya eh. <laughs> <laughs> Ngayon, parang napuyat. Meanwhile, Nokum will hand it off to Clarito. Clarito, good fake hanging in the air, but missing the shot. He gets it back. Wala pa rin yung floater. And Grimaldo looking for a guard. So he will bring that to the midcourt. Safely to Ken Bono. One minute to go. And Pamboy is rejected by Nokum. Oh, Nokum, one of the athletic defenders here for San Juan Knights. How about that ball fake by Wamar? And straight to the basket. 44 seconds left in the half. 31 to 20. Lamang pa ng, ng 11 points ang San Juan Knights go for gold here. Pamboy Raimundo now 10 to shoot. He will fire the three and he will make it. Meanwhile, timeout is called. Timeout is called by San Juan Knights Go for Gold, and it is brought to you by a stick, Roaster's Coffee. We're now looking at Pamboy Raimundo, uh, who just shot the three earlier, and we'll take a look at it again now. Suaving suave, si Pamboy Raimundo, walang kakupas kubas. So that brings the, the lead down to eight points, 23 to 31. 32.2 seconds left in the half. So one burned their last time out of the half there. Tingnan natin kung mag-bear fruit ang ceasefire na tinawag ni Coach Randy Alcantara. Abudo, he will fire the three as he was open. Too strong. Rebound, long rebound goes to Manzo. Manzo now will use the Rodriguez screen and he will hoist up his own to three. Wala. Ken Bono gets it. Jaime off to Pamboy. And Pamboy finishes that fast break in fashion. Great leak out there by Pamboy Raymundo. Right. And an excellent pass from Chito Jaime to finish the half. Sato, Sato, hindi na kailangan ng dribble. So at the end of the first half, it's 25 to 31. Lamang pa rin ang San Juan Knights go for gold against the M-Trans Buraki de La Ia, Batanga City, Tanduay Athletics. Pero hindi na ganun kalaki. Six points na lang po ang inahabol ng M-Trans. We're now going to have an interview by my partner, Javi Palanya.
Nico Otti. He's on one night to go for gold. And that's why it was the coach Justin Tan has put in all of the guns, including this guy, Joseph Marquez, who hits along too. up on the first minute, John by Dito, Jan Colina continues to become aggressive, right now the Jan Colina, not a big and Salicón, did not see that coming, and here comes Joseph Marquez, Diego Dario, transition three, good, over to Colina, they drop down to a zone immediately, Jan Colina loves to play the post, shot clock now at eight, the Hulok was off, Sandy Senyal, the former RTU, great cut, now tied at five, under eight minutes to play deep the first quarter. Delavito struggled with the shot yesterday, not today. Transition ngayon into the front court. Pass is broken up by Jelovito. They still get it to Colina. Sagile, three-pointer. That is the specialty of Jesmar Villahermosa. Front line there. A miss from the outside para kay Joseph Marquez. And looks like Marquez might have injured his finger trying to get the steal off of Villahermosa. And Jan Colina will score again. And the lead belongs to uh, FSD Makati Army. Magalino can't get it, uh, can't get it done. Dario, nalik lang. Dario, hang time. That is good for Diego Dario. Custodio, he knows that's what he's hired to do. about your team's excellent start. They are 2-0 now sa start ng uh, Phil Basket Subic Championship. In fact, lamang pa nga sila ngayon, 31 to 25 sa first half. They have been uh, practicing uh, for quite some time uh, after the other league has uh, has finished. Uh, hindi naman sila tumigil sa kapapractice. So, ito na siguro yung naging uh, result. Maganda naman yung kanilang nilalaro. And so, Sen, I won't keep you uh, anymore uh, longer. Pa Anong mga message mo sa mga fans ng San Juan Knights Go for Gold? I, uh, I hope you uh, always support uh, the basketball the, uh, the basketball tournament, lalong lalo itong field basket. At uh, napakaganda itong ginawa nila Mr. Bad Encarnado at ni Jai Reyes. At uh, para mabigyan ng uh, trabaho itong ating mga manlalaro. Dahil uh, dalawang taon ay eh, walang trabaho itong ating mga basketball players. Kaya ipapasalamat ako sa mga organizers, sa founder ng field basket, sa pag-umpisa nila itong liga. At, at sana po ay uh, lagi niyo po susuportahan ang San Juan Knights. And that, and that was the team owner of San Juan Knights, Go for Gold, Senator Jingoy Estrada. We will be back.
Para po sa ating halftime report, lamang pa rin ang San Juan, 31 to 25 against M-Trans Buraki de La Ia. Now here are our halftime stats. Alright, sa panig ng M-Trans, 10 out of 34. Started out flat for 29% from the field. Ito namang San Juan Knights go for gold. Not really shooting well also. 13 out of 33 from the field for 39%. Rebounding is lorded over by San Juan, 26 to 19. Meanwhile, points off turnovers, 11 para sa M-Trans, 6 naman para sa San Juan. Bench points lamang rin ang red shirts, 15 to 7. Those halftime stats were brought to you by TM Easy Surf 99. Leading scorers naman po para sa M-Trans, si, si Pamboy Raimundo, 8, Espinas, 4, Grimaldo, 4, Santos, 4. Meanwhile, para sa San Juan, Clarito Jonard, 9, and La Larry Rodriguez, 8. Wamar 4, Bunyag 3 at leading scorers natin brought to you by Grab Food. And now's the start of our third quarter brought to you by Wilson, the official basketball of Phil Basket Subic Championship. Wilson. Maagang turnover yon para sa San Juan Knights. Let's see kung makakahabol na ba dito ang entrance. Pamboy Raimundo, jumper. That was pure. Pamboy picking up where he left off. Scoring five points to end that first half. And scoring the first basket, basket, basket dito sa ating second half. So 31-27 na. Apat na lang ang lamang sa one nights go for gold. Unti-unti na kumahabol ang entrance. Salada getting that rebound off the miss. I'm sure katakot-takot na sermon ang inaabot nitong M-Trans sa locker room. Ito kay Coach Mactan when he said that he wants them to pick up the intensity or match the intensity that San Juan is exhibiting dito sa ating ball game. For sure, uh, Javi. That is why parang iba yung kilos nila starting the third quarter, no? Mas may energy. Yeah, yung body language also right. different. The body language. It was Celada to Fran Yu. Tend to shoot for Amtrans. Fran Yu will kick it out. Salada will release the three, and that is good. Finally making his first conversion from Rainbow Country is Andre and Celada. Great setup there by Fran Yu off the pick and roll from Adi Santos. Isa na lang po ang lamang ng San Juan Knights go for gold. Meanwhile, Kalma will put it up. It will bounce out. So, entrance Boracay de la Ia, Batangas City, Tanduay Athletics can take the lead here. Pamboy Raimundo faking and caught for the travel. He's still oh, claiming. Pa Pamboy thought that uh, hindi niya nagalaw yung kanyang pivot right. foot, but uh, kita ng ating referees na nadrag niya na yung pivot foot niya doon sa up fake na yun. That forced him into that traveling violation. Mismo, so... Another chance for San Juan Knights na palakihin itong caution nila. Itong buffer nila dahil isa, isa na lang, eh, one point na lang ang lead nila after, after leading as much as, as 9 or even 13 sa second quarter. However, another turnover here by the Red Shirts. Sloppy start here to the second half for Coach Randy Alcantara's ward. Fran Yu now being hounded by Orlan Wamar. Now this is a, a matchup to, to watch for. Tend to shoot now for the white shirts. Celada gets it at the three-point area, pero wala. JM Calma colors that one. A bundo jumper. That is good. Alvin Abundo. Making that basket to stop the mini run that the White Shirts has started this second half with. And that lead pass uh, completed by Santos. I was in the process of, of trying to get a shot off. We got the foul again. Adi Santos coming out of the University of the East. Free throw brought to you by Wilson. Wilson. Official basketball of field basket, Subic Championship. Yeah. 
Seven minutes pa natitira dito sa ating third quarter. And Adi Santos again binaba ang kalamangan sa one point para sa San Juan San Juan Knights go for gold. J.M. Calma Larry Rodriguez Maganda kanina yung shooting ni Larry Rodriguez eh. Pero that time he kicked it out to J.M. Calma Orlan Wamar beating everybody to the ball J.M. Calma hindi pa rin may pasok yung tira at point blank Now chance for Amtrans to take the lead here Fran you will drive and that is strong Lead pass to Abundo. Abundo will kick it out to Orlan Wamar. 4-3. Kaboom. Wamar has been silent before that shot. That is his first conversion from downtown. Dito sa ating ball game. The three-point leader of our tournament finally hitting his mark from Rainbow Country. Hindi pwedeng masilence basta-basta the entire game. Itong si Orlan Wamar. Meanwhile, Pamboy being hounded by Abundo. Pick and roll to Santos. The floater. In but out. <laughs> so six minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Ito na naman si Orlan Wamar. Trying to look for the foul. Pero wala. Now Pamboy. Didn't see Fran Yu there. Celada on the other side. Five minutes, 51 minutes. Natitira sa quarter. Here's Grimaldo. Six to shoot against Rodriguez. Drops it off. And that was... Drops it off to Adi Santos. And that was a beautiful play by Grimaldo. That's right. Great interior passing by the M-Trans bigs there. Jim Calma a tad bit too late. Helping out. 36-34. Abundo for three. Wala. Fran Yu ahead to Grimaldo. He catches it. And he makes a shot, ties the game at 36. Amtrans Boracay de la Ia, Batanga City, Tanduay Athletics. That was the assist delivery of the game, brought to you by Grab Food. Jim Calma. Pero nakalamang ulit kagad doon, courtesy of Jim Calma, ang San Juan. Grimaldo, same spot, pero hindi pumasok. Helter Skelter basketball in the last few possessions here from both teams. That's right. Pace is picking up. And Pamboy gives up, gives up the foul. Para makalabas siya. Pamboy, Game clock at 4 4 4. That's 4 minutes 44 seconds. Dito sa third quarter ang natitira. Lamang ng dalawang San Juan Knights go for goal 38-36 Orlan Wamar Wow, what a set up for Noko Wow, eh, the m defense was caught off guard there yes. Excellent dish off by Orlan Wamar Brand new streaking doesn't make that shot. And now Nogum will go all the way. Wala. Clarito. The rebound and the putback. Amtrans calling for a timeout this time. We will return. Meanwhile, the timeout is brought to you by Yastig Roasters Coffee. Thank you. 
Kaagad nagbabalik po kami dito sa Subic Bay Gymnasium. Eman Kabilis kasama si Javi Palanya. This is the third game of the fifth day of Field Basket Subic Championship brought to you by Coco Life. A steal there by Clarito. Pero he will be called for the charge. Offensive foul number 22, John R. Clarito. That's his first personal. Naunahan siya sa position doon, ni Marcy Arellano. That's right, the former UE guard, former UAAP Rookie of the Year has made a living out of drawing charges from the opposite guards. All right, four minutes, ten seconds. Natitira dito sa third quarter. Despite his advanced age, not afraid to mix it up with the young guns here. Nagugulat ako pag sinasabi mong advanced age si Marcy. <laughs> Bakit natatamaan ka ba? Sobra. At the same time, mukha naman siyang bata. Hindi eh. <laughs> lang ako natatamaan, nakahurt pa. <laughs> Meanwhile here, naka-inbound din sa bukas ang entrance. Marcy will drop it off. Pero naagaw ni Bunyag. Good defense there. And a three on the way from Wamar. Wala. Tapigan ng bola. Possession goes back to entrance. Burake de la Ia, Batanga City, Tanduay Adrian, Athletics. Adrian Nocom can really get up, huh? Oh, yeah. Parang may spring sa, sa sapato si Adrian oh, Nocom. Ah, young legs. <laughs> <laughs> Laude 4-3. That goes out. And Wamar pushing it up. Pero mas maraming white shirts doon. Nakadepensa na kagad. Clarito. 3 minutes 35 seconds. Natitira dito sa third quarter. Clarito will, will get it. Sa block. He will try to shoot against Marcy. Bunyag for the rebound. And back up to Clarito. Orlan Wamar. They have 10 to shoot. Bunyag! Ooh. Hoop and the harm! Precise passing there by the, San, by the San Juan Knights. Go for gold. Resulted with an N1 by Bunyag. Finishing inside, not really the cup of tea of Christian Bunyag. But whenever you have a setup like that, it's hard not to make the basket. Excellent yes. pass there by Orlan Mamar. And excellent finish by the 6'6 Christian Bunyag. So the lead is back up at 8 bumaba na tayo na pala nila no then wala pang answer so far itong entrance sa run na ginagawa ngayon at San Juan Knights and this free throw is brought to you by Wilson Wilson the official basketball of Phil Basket Subic Championship missing the bonus shot there is Bunyag Pamboy back in the game for Marcy and extra curricular activities Inside there, away from the ball. Foul at number 15, Christian Bunyang, that's his second. Four on San Juan. Foul is called on Bunyang against his penis. Jaime, Fran Yu, almost running out of space, but a, but a foul was called on Manzo. And not a good foul there by Manzo, because that puts them over the limit. That will mean two shots for the Litran point guard. Yes, and... I'm sure Coach Mack wants to slow things down. That was, ito na yung opportunity nila. Uh, penalty na ang San Juan. They could, they could cut to that lead inch by inch without taking time off the clock. Yeah, that's right. And uh, slowing things down, giving the ball at the post, uh, spotting the mismatches that his players have over the San Juan players. This is definitely still a manageable deficit that Mtrans can climb out of. Oh, very manageable. Anim na lang po ang kalamangan ng San Juan Knights go for gold after those two free throws by Fran Yu. Two minutes, 57 seconds left. Dito sa third quarter. Clarito will make his move and he will be called for the travel. Very good position there by, by Chito Jaime. Well, he looked look like that he was anticipating that spin after all by Clarito. Yes. Pamboy looking to go past Manzano. would like to thank our friends at Subic Bay, SBMA, and Central Luzon Regional Task Force. Marami salamat po, sir, sa assistance niyo dito sa field basket.
at ito na nga, patay ang oras, opportunity na mabawasan ng lamang ng San Juan Knights. And Pamboy did just that. It's now a five-point lead. Five-point deficit, sorry. Yeah, sorry, Pamboy Raimundo, of course, the point guard ng Pinatubo Trio back in the day for the San Sebastian Golden Stags. Misses his second shot, however, pero lima na lang ang lamang San Juan Knights go for gold. Let's see if Emtans can continue their run here and reach and foul called on Chito Jaime. Two minutes, 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Shot clock was set to 14 seconds. Abundo now back for San Juan. He will try to drive. Larry Rodriguez open for the jumper and he sinks it. That's his spot. That's his range. He'll definitely make that in his team if he give it to him. The reliable veteran. Larry Rodriguez momentarily open. Parang layup lang sa kanya yung spot na yun. That's right. And Larry Rodriguez already breaking the double digit barrier. Now has 10 in this ball game. Meanwhile, Fran Yu will again go to the line. Two minutes, nine seconds. Natitira dito sa third quarter. Fran Yu with 5.6 rebounds and three assists in this ball game. So far, stuffing the stat sheet, not just in the scoring department. Pero sa ibang facets rin ng ating laro, nagko-contribute itong si Franyu. Oh, definitely. The fact na, na, na lagi natin siya nakikita halos sa lahat ng play, katulad nun. <laughs> katulad nun. From the free throw line, nandun siya under the basket for the two points. And the lead is down to five, 46 to 41. One minute, 56 seconds left. Dito sa third quarter of play. Larry Rodriguez back to Obundo. Abundo will shoot the three. Swish. You see how nonchalantly Alvin Abundo Kaya launched na. that three? He's not afraid to shoot that if you give him that space. Hand down, man down. Right. Nonchalant is, is the correct word, Javi. Parang wala lang eh. And now Orlan Wamar to Orbeta and San Juan Knights running and humming. Walang ano-ano, sampu na ulit ang lamang. 51 to 41, 1 minute and 12 seconds left in the third quarter. Pamboy Raimundo now. Laude, 8 seconds to shoot. Laude will take it in for Mick. Pero hindi nakuha ni Gabby Espinas yung drop, off, yung drop pass niya. Joggy Laude, one of the bright spots. For M Trans in their previous game, he had 9 points in 15 minutes. But so far today, wala pa na iko contribute. San Juan Knights bench reacting to that beautiful crossover by Abundo. Meanwhile, Jaime with a Euro. And he gets a foul from Orbeta. With 35.3 seconds remaining, Dito the third quarter. Bumagal talaga yung laro dahil penalty na kanina pa ang San Juan. However, tuloy tuloy pa rin ang takbo nila. So, kahit mababa na ng, ng entrance ang lamang, pag, pag kurap mo, malaki na naman ulit. Eh. <laughs> they had their foot off the gas right. pedal momentarily. But um, now, it's back to a... Uh, well, it's down to a double di uh, single-digit lead at 9, but this was uh, as high as 10 just a few seconds ago. Yes. And Chito Jaime brings it down to weight. 35.3 seconds. Pwede pang makabawi ang entrance after the shot clock of San Juan. So nagsag na ng konti yung depensa nila. Abundo now. Underneath is Nobu. Oh, they've been running that play since kanina pa. That was the second successful conversion. This time, Alvin Abundo to Adrian Nocum. 
One second dif difference between game clock and shot clock. Gabi Espinas will power his way. Naghanap ng foul, walang tawag. Four seconds left. Pamboy Raimundo wisely uses their foul. That's right, good foul there by Pamboy Raimundo. They still had one foul to give. 2.4 seconds left on the third quarter clock. Yun lang, the lead is back up to 10, 53 to 43. And a beautiful play kung pumasok lang. That was a... Yun yung mga ginagawa para kila, kila Kobe and, or kung sino man yung dumadakdak eh, no? That was a beautiful play. Kaya lang, ano kaya yan? Hindi na salo ng mabuti? Oo, oh, di lang siguro nasa salo, na salo na mabuti or maybe masyadong libre. Masyado, yan, yeah, nagulat siya. Nung masyadong siya libre. Sometimes nakakagulat yun eh. Meanwhile, 53-43 lamang pa rin po ang San Juan Knights go for gold against Entrance Boracay de la Ia Batanga City ng Tanduay Athletics. We will return after this. and final quarter of the final game of today. Yung po ang ating matipunong commissioner, Jai the Dynamite Reyes. Ako po si Emel Cabilas, kasama si Javi Palanya. And this fourth quarter is brought to you by Coco Life. 53-43. Quarter scoring 8-19 to in the first 70-12 to sa second quarter. Third quarter, man, 22 to 18, and we are at we end up at the score 53 to 45 in favor, pare ng San Juan Knights. Yun. Uh, Bumabana sa eight ang lamang. Larry, oh, check that. That's not Larry Rodriguez. That was Gamboa. Meanwhile, Pamboy to Fran Yu, open for the corner three, short. He gets it back. Another rebound for Fran Yu. I think that's his ninth already in this ball game. Heads up play by Gamboa to Jaime. Getting that, getting that basket and cutting the lead down to six. In less than a minute, no? So, if Entrance will make a run, it has to be now. No home for three. That is way short. And a foul is called. On the reach. Foul on Larry Rodriguez. It's only his third personal. Can he know first quarter? Quick two quick two fouls. Then he was able to maintain. Anyway, special thanks to Subic Bay, SBMA, Central Zone Regional Task Force. Salamat po sa assistance nyo, sir. Dito sa field basket. Right, then you were saying, Kanina, oh, as Gabby Espinas knocks down that jumper. Early timeout call here. Early timeout by San Juan Knights. Go for gold. And this timeout is brought to you by Astig Roasters Coffee. So, Apat na lang po ang kalamangan. Magbabalik po kami.
now take a look at our TikTok move of the game. There you go, Gabby Spinas fading away. That is our move of the game brought to you by TikTok. But before that, Gabby Espinas has been struggling dito sa ating ball game. Bothered and frustrated right. by the calls and non-calls dito sa ating laro. Always looking for a foul, no? Every time he, he makes an offensive move. Orlan Wamar leaving everybody behind. <laughs> so, balik ulit sa anim ang lamang ng San Juan Knights. Follow us, call downstairs on Clarito. We'd like to acknowledge Coco Life, our official partner here in field basket, Subic Championship, Coco Life. Again, Gabi Spinas making his move and complaining if there is no foul. Buti na lang yung bantay niya, mabagal din bumaba. Para nag, ano, naglakad na lang sila sa luna yun, dalawa ni Larry Rodriguez. That has stopped him from establishing a rhythm dito sa ating right, ball game. Right. From the start of the ball game, he was a starter for M-Trans. It's sa umpisa pa lang. Yung nireklamo niya na na yes, he needs yes. a foul here, a foul there. But he hasn't gotten it. And he has to check Technical that. Technical foul of M-Trans, but not the city's number 27, Gabi Spinas. That's his third and a technical, technical foul is called on Gabby Espinas for complaining. Orlan Wamar now makes that technical free throw. Balikan bola sa entrance. 56-49. Nababana nila sa apat eh. And now, Gabby Espinas will try again. With the left hand, the hoop and the harm. Yon ang kanyang hinahanap kanina pa. Gabby Espinas and one. Gabby Espinas still wanting to make up for his lackluster performance ng kanilang last game. He's now up to eight points here. Chance to make it nine. So this free throw is brought to you by Wilson. Wilson, the official basketball of Phil Basket Subic Championship. And the lead is down to five. After that three-point play by Gabi Espinas. He has now eclipsed his production in the game against Army. Now has nine points. Still a lot of time left dito sa ating ball game. Meanwhile, siya naman ngayon ang natawagan ng foul against Larry Rodriguez. Kumagat siya sa up fake ni Larry Rodriguez and sumabit. Meanwhile, 7 minutes, 12 seconds left dito sa game. Apat lang yan, no? Apat lang ang lamang ng San Juan Knights. Go for gold. And I'm sure Coach Mac Tan is, is looking to settle his boys down because there is a lot of time remaining. Oh, definitely. I mean, this is a very veteran team that has gone through so much wars individually. And uh, dito sila magpapa, mag, magpapatalo basta-basta. Especially against a younger team. San Juan Knights go for gold. And then Larry Rodriguez misses his first free throw. So a lot of, lot of time left here for Antlas to make a move. Substitution, The lead is back up to 5, 57, 52. Hindi pa rin po oras natin at 7, 12. Pamboy Raimundo now being hounded by Abundo. Abundo spotted the defense working here. Pamboy looking for Dime now in front you. Against Palma and <laughs> nakabing with na naman si Franyo doon. Up and under move. Dinukot sa ilalim. And he will go to the line as it was a shooting shooting foul. Franyu shooting two. 
Pamboy initiated that play with a pick and roll. Passed it to the rolling Grimaldo, and Grimaldo found Fran Yu on the right flank. He decided to drive to the basket, fish for the foul, and got it off Jim Calma. Fran Yu makes his first free throw, 53 to 57. Nagahabol pa rin po ang entrance Buraki de la Ia, Batanga City, Tanduay Athletics. Fran Yu already with eight points. Eight rebounds and four assists. He is just all over the place. Diba, eight points and eight rebounds for a guard. <laughs> Iba level ito si Fran Yu. Meanwhile, Abundo. Hands it off to Clarito. Nasundutan ni Fran Yu, but nangita ng rim. Shot clock is at 13. 6 minutes 44 left in the game. Tatlo na lang ang lamang na San Juan Knights. J.M. Calma. Na Clarito. Si Clarito marami na rin points. Eh, no? uh, consistent naman siya all throughout. Meanwhile, Wamar was blocked. Two to shoot. Abundo for three. Ooh. And it bounces in. Alvin Abundo bailing his team out of that one. And what a lucky bounce there. Right. So it's now 60 to 54. Fran Yu trying, trying his, at three of his own. Now Pamboy, too strong. A little bit too eager to get that three back. Talking about Fran Yu and Pamboy Raimundo for entrance. And Alvin Abundo. Hala ko, papakita ni Alvin Abundo na ganito lang, ganito lang yan. Meanwhile, not enough space there for Chito Jaime to get that lead pass. Still 60 to 54. Lamang pa rin po ang San Juan Knights. Go for gold. So far, this has been a game of runs, no? Right, right. You didn't need to describe the, the Phil Jackson. It's a matter of how long you can sustain your run. And speaking of runs, <laughs> Alvin Abundo all alone. Napatay mo na po si Coach Mark Tan para sa entrance. Buracay de la Ia, Batanga City, Tanduay Athletics. And it's brought to you by Aztec Roasters Coffee. back Eman Kabilis more together with Javi Palanya this is the third game well we look first at the that three by Alvin Abundo giving the San Juan Knights go for gold more cushion here 63 to 54 against the entrance Buraki de la Ia Batanga City Tanduay Athletics a couple of possessions ago Abundo hit a three from up top, then missed one, and then answered back to the man's right corner, upping this lead to nine points. We'd like to acknowledge Coco Life, our official partner here in Field Baskets Who Big Championship. Coco Life. 5.25 remaining in the game. Amtran still. Looking for an answer here. Dumidikit sila ng konti, pero San Juan Knights always laging may pangontra eh. Senada, corner three. Ooh. Wow. That was a contested three at that. And puputok na naman ba dito sa fourth quarter si, si Senada. So binawi niya doon yung, yung tres ni, ni Abundo. The score is 57-63. Only a six-point lead being protected by San Juan Knights go for gold. I'm sure Coach Randy Alcantara doesn't expect the last four minutes of this ball game to be any easy. Forward pass and the long arms of JM, pa JM Calma disrupted that one. Clarito will spin, will scoop, 
Pero hindi umabot yung bola sa, sa ring at that time. That's already Fran News' ninth rebound of the game. Mas madami pa siyang rebound sa score o hindi naman? Uh, let me check that. I think he, he made a couple of free throws earlier. Meanwhile, on the floor, Pamboy, Raimundo, and Clarito. The call was, was forward jump, and, and the possession is awarded to to San Juan Knights go for gold. So chance here para matagdagan ang kanilang kalamangan. Score stands at 63-57 with 4 minutes and 10 seconds left in the game. Oh, that's right. Well, Fran, you already has more rebounds than he has points. <laughs> 10 rebounds already for the guard out of Letran. 9 points and 5 assists to complete that stat line. We'd like to thank our friends from Subic Bay, SBMA, and Central Luzon Regional Task Force. Thank you, sirs, for the assist. This is a field basket. Orlan Mamar now against Marcia Arellano. Well, Mar Trapp throws up the three. And lead pass to Fran Yu. Foul in the basket. By Fran Yu. Beautiful touchdown pass oh. by Grimaldo, if I'm not mistaken. Two costly mistakes made there by Orlan Wamar. First, he put up a shot with still a few seconds left on their shot clock. Second, he failed to sprint ahead of Fran Yu, and that's why he only was able to foul him on that attempt. Caso, foul counted pa. Oh, nga. And Fran Yu now looking to. To cut the deficit down to three, he has 11 points, 10 rebounds, and five assists already. Double double for Fran Yu. So 63 60. Sun One Knights only up by three. Three minutes, 36 seconds left. Dito Salaro, Alvin Abundo. He will drive, he will back out. Jumper. No, so Marcia Arellano back in the game. They are now running. Jaime open for three. Too strong. So nothing there for Entrance. Meanwhile, Orlan Wamar will slow things down as they have the luxury of time on their side. Larry Rodriguez. Abundo again lets it fly. That one short. Gabi Espinas pulls it down. And Celada will control it. Yes, he does. Back to Marcy. Out to Fam. Check that to Fran Yu. Beautiful drop pass to Marcy Arellano. And Trans keeping their heads in the game. It is now 63 to 62. Isa na lang ang lamang tanduay. And we have a timeout brought to you by Astig Roasters Coffee. Eman Kabilis Po alongside Javi Palanya in this exciting game. We now look at that last play. Franu driving and dishing to Marcia Arellano. And that brings the score 63 62. One point lead being protected by San Juan Knights. Go for gold. Gano kalakian kanina, Javi. That's right. That was up to uh, 12 points. Right. Here right. before this. Fourth quarter, no? Yeah, before this fourth quarter. And this game definitely living up to its billing here. Our third and final game of this fifth game day. Both teams undefeated here, but definitely one will come out with a loss. 
and Nogum makes that three out of nowhere, no? But you see, it. yeah, and that's uh, no good, like, consistent for some one nights. Meanwhile, Fran Yu forcing that one in. Will it count? Yes, it does. Wow. Titi ngayon si Fran Yu parang ang nipis niya, pero ang lakas eh. Oo nga eh, very deceiving eh. Right, ang daming nakasabi sa kanya doon, and he still makes that shot. So, Fran Yu will get a bonus free throw. The foul is on on Orlan Wamar. That's what's so great about this sport, no? You, you really cannot take a book by its cover a, or judge a book by its cover. You could see a lot of players like that. Na kalamo, ang papayat lang. Yes, yes. Pero ang lalakas na mga katawan. Yes. Meanwhile, malapit na po tayo sa last two minutes. Two minutes, four seconds left in the game. Sixty-six, sixty-five. And this last two minutes is brought to you by TM Easy Surf 99. And Trans chance to take the lead at Nakakuwa ulit si Fran Yu ng foul. Now a chance for, for Fran Yu and Entrance to take the lead dito sa free throw line. One minute, 50 seconds left in the game. First shot is up and in. Pressure back. Free throws here for Fran Yu, pero... Fran Yu already eclipsing his competition statistics. He was averaging 13 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 4 assists before this ball game, but now has 15 points, 10 rebounds, and 6 assists. Wow, double, double. Alam ni Fran, yun ang malakas yung, yung second shot niya. So he went, he went quickly to the lane, too quickly, and he was called for the lane violation. Meet, pero natay niya na yung ball game at 66 all. Sheesh. Kaganda ng mga laro today, eh, man. All right. Para, parang paglagi tayong mag, magkasama dito. Oh. Sobrang dikit at cardiac arrest yung aabutin ko sa mga laro. Eh. Anyway, down to 1 minute, 37 seconds left. Abundo will drive in. Nagawa ni Franyu. Franyu is freaking to the court. Tried to give it to Gabi Espinas. Pero na, natawagan ka agad ng foul si Orlan Wamar. This kid is just really wow. blossoming before our eyes. Well, you, we all knew that he had that star potential, but to um, see it now is just really surreal, Eman. Eh, Sobra, mga scouts dyan. <coughs> <laughs> and to think that this guy still has playing years left in the NCAA. And the NCAA. At balak talaga niyang tapusin yung playing years na yun. Well, syempre, uh, remains to be seen. Especially with the uncertainty that this pandemic brings, but he, oh, when he goes back to the NCAA, definitely yes. he will dominate. So Fran, you giving the lead finally back to Entrance Boracay de la Ia Batanga City Tanway Athletics. I think that's the first lead of Entrance oh, in so long dito sa ating laro. Exactly. So yon. 68-66, entrance now up by two against an one night. One minute, 20 seconds left in the game. Let's see what Nokum can do. A foul was called on Celada. Oh, check that, Fran Yu. So you see that Fran Yu ang, ang tinawagan doon. Pero entrance not yet in penalty. And that was hardly a shooting motion, no? Yep, that's right. Right. So Orlan Wamar will inbound from the side. <laughs> Coach Mac Tan. Sinisita yung mga yung bench niya na behave fail. Behave. <laughs> of course, they don't want to pick up a unnecessary infraction, a delay of game, or an right. improper bench decorum call, especially late in our ball game. Jonar Clarito now, he will take that jumper. Ooh, almost bounced in. Wamar gets it back. 
Nohum will drive. Oh! Sits in the air and puts it in! Nagkapipa ng Astig Roasters Coffee si Nohum. Wow! <laughs> How long was he in the air, Evan? Sheesh! Titingin dapat ako sa relo ko eh. Kaya lang, tumasok na yung bola. Meanwhile, drop pass to Gabi Espinas. Oh, that's gonna be free throws. Yes, for, for Chito Grimaldo. Jaime. Oh, check that for Chito Jaime. Meanwhile, 68 all ang ating score dito. 39.3 seconds alang ang natitira ng first game natin habi ng overtime. First game palang overtime kagad. <laughs> Paano pa kaya to? Well, we'll see. Kaya po parang na kami si Brian Adams at si Michael Bolton dito. <laughs> Because this, this is our third game. Pero masaya naman eh. And, wow. Hey man, I'm Chito still Jaime. dumbfounded at yes. that shot by Adrian Nocum. Grabe. No? Wow. Umupo sa ere. Ang, hindi ko na alam kung sino yung, yung batang version nun. No? Pero nung panahon ko, Malapol Alvarez eh. <laughs> Umupo sa ere, nagkakabi sa ere. Meanwhile, pressure pack free throws. Sinked. Well, so, made by Chito Jaime. And we... There's a timeout called. It's brought to you by Astig Roasters Coffee. Okay, back here, 39.3 seconds left in the game. Lamang ng dalawa, and we take a look at that last play. That aerial voyaging, Voyager shot ni Nokum. Verhel Meneses would be proud. Wow, and this kid has contributed a lot in this ball game. aside from his feistiness yes. on the defensive end. He has produced 12 points. Four and one nights go for gold. Actually, the scoring has been pretty much balanced through a lot of players for the red shirts. And I'm sure Coach Randy Alcantara is proud, but he will not be proud if they do not come away with this win here. They are down by two, 39.3 sec seconds left dito sa ating ball game. Yes. Some one, some one nights go for gold, looking to tie or take the lead with a three. 14, seconds. 14 on the shot clock. Mahaba pa to, Javi. Yes, sir, babalik pa ang possession sa entrance after this. <laughs> so let's see yes. what Coach Randy Alcantara has drawn up. They go to the veteran. Clarito will fire the three. Wala, pero Wamar libre. And Gabi Espinas, can he control the rebound? And we'll see if he was caught out of bounds there. And yes, uh, San Juan Knights go for gold. Will will retain possession. No more timeouts left here for San Juan. Meanwhile, one more left for M Trans Boracay de la Ia. Right. So 20 seconds, 20.7 seconds left on the game clock. 14 seconds to shoot for San Juan. Abundo kicks it out to Nokum. Nokum again. And wow, the moves of this kid, Javi. This kid is so brave attacking right. the lane against seasoned vets. Yes, I mean, at that time, they, well, we have a timeout brought to you by Astig Roasters Coffee. And we will return in a, in a, in a second.
Okay, nandito po ulit tayo. Eman Kabilis po kasama si Javi Palanya. 15 seconds na lang natitira dito sa ating laro. And Javi, take us through this last play. I am on the edge of my seat here. Look at that sidestep by Adrian Nocum finishing with the right on the left side. Grabe yung tapang nitong batang to. And Attacking seasoned vets in Gabi Espinas. You have Chito Jaime there. But this kid has no fear in his eyes. Driving to the basket, challenging the defense of Emtrats. Tying this ball game with 15 seconds left. 70 apiece. Ano yung nag-viral noon? Yung sinasabi nila, iwan na iwan, pati pamilya. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, at that time, Fran Yu, isang napakabilis na defender, na iwan ni Noko with that beautiful Yu round. Adrian not playing the game of his life. Ito, ito na. 15 seconds left in the game. 14 seconds left in the shot clock. 70 all. Nung sinabi kong matagal pa to Javi, magditilang ang hell ba tayo? <laughs> Pabay Raimundo escapes. Looks for Fran Yu. Isolation now for Fran Yu. Room to operate. Here comes the screen. Chito Jaime, runner. And they run out of time. Pero meron pang... San Juan Knights go for goal saying that there's still one second left. Exactly one second. Pero sa shot clock natin, nakikita 0.6. Wala nang time out of San Juan. And they're, they're, they're taking advantage of the momentarily lull dito sa play. Drawing up a quick play here. Baka sakali. And uh, the clock was adjusted to one second. So enough time to, to catch and shoot. Pwede pa yata mag-dribble with one second, right? That is, huh? huh? Yes. So the game clock is adjusted to one second. Pero San Juan Knights go for gold will inbound from the far side of their court. 70 all. Kapit mga kafield basket. Here's the play. Nokum gets it. Heaves it. Oh. And would you know, Javi, overtime na naman. Tayo dalawa. Second overtime of the day. <laughs> Don't worry, Javi. I'm sure alagaan tayo ni, ni Commissioner after. So at the end of four quarters, hindi pa tapos ang laban. 70 all. Entrance, Buracay de la Ia, Batanga City, Tanduay Athletics. All tied up with San Juan Knights. Go for gold. And nandito pa rin po kami, Eman Kabiles, along with Javi Palanya. Overtime ang laro ng Entrance versus San Juan. And this overtime is brought to you by Astig Roasters Coffee. We will need another five minutes to decide the outcome of this ballgame. Adrian Nocum misses. Adrian Nocum misses on that jumper after making his last two baskets. And look at that shot by Pamboy, humiga ng konti sa ere, making that shot, looking for the foul pa. Pero Mtrans, good start here. Unang bumutas ngayong overtime, 72 to 70. Alvin Abundo. And Alvin Abundo, cool na cool. 
Natira na naman. Walang kaabag-abag si Kaya Alvin Abundo when he made that shot. And Arden, you know, after. Fran Yu will make his move. Shoots a three. Misses it though. Noko with the rebound. Now Alvin Abundo. Tuloy-tuloy! Walang pumigil! Wow! Caught napping ang depensa noon ng entrance. Buraki de la Ia, Batangas City, Tantuay Athletics. Alvin Abundo already with 17 points for the San Juan Knights. Goal for gold. Lob to Gabi and it Gabi rolls in. in. Good pass there. And the score is tied at 74. Abundo calling the play. He will spin. Hounded by Fran. He will save that ball to Gamboa. Gamboa gets the foul. Oh, the, sign yung, yung foul na yun, no? Pababa na yung shot clock sana. Again, we would like to acknowledge Coco Life, our official partner here in Phil Basket's Ubi Championship, Coco Life. Bailout call there for Sun One Knights go for gold. Looked like they were not going anywhere with their offensive possession there. And yeah, that's the right term, bailout. Meanwhile, trying again. Is that Gamboa? Scramble for the ball. Goes to Abundo, fires the three. Medyo offline, but JC Pal JM Palma rather. Call as a rebound. Now it's Nasi Nokum. Six to shoot. Nokum floater. Not that time, pero. Or Beta is there for the follow. Well, but I'm just really impressed still with Nokum. Nakita mo kung paano sinabi. Tabi, tabi. <laughs> three. Corner three. By Silada. Parang nagtaka ako dun. Walang bumantay sa kanya. So that, Yes. Andre and Silada relatively quiet here in our ball game, only with six points before that shot. But that ups his total production to nine. 216 left here in overtime. And look who has the basketball once again. Kanina pa nila ginagawa yung play na yun. Hindi pa rin nauhuli na entrance, no? Uh, that time, Abundo. Perfect pass to Nokum. Last two minutes brought to you by TM Easy Surf 99. Ito po ang last two minutes ng overtime natin. Celada completely missed that one. Pero Espinas is there. Aabutan ba ni Shark Clock? Well, the game goes on. Gamboa will sidestep and block by Celada. Pero napunta ulit kay Gamboa. And Orbeta! The hoop and the harm! Gabby Espinas is not a right. happy man. Foul at number 27, Gabby Espinas. That Gabby is his. Espinas, five fouls. And we say goodbye for, to Gabby Espinas for the night. As that was his Matangas. fifth and last foul. Adi Santos come back, comes back in along with Grimaldo. Brand new for Marcia also, Fran Yu, back for Marcia Arellano. Bulls free throw, Sean Orbeta. Orbeta, bonus free throw now, looking to add on to their lead, and he does. So it's now a four point lead, 81 to 77. One minute, 30 seconds remaining in overtime. Fran Yu, trapped. Gets it to Pamboy. Inside. Fakes. Celada will, will shoot the three. Pero wala. And it hits the, the back iron. Coach Mack telling Celada na okay lang yun. Go back on D. Meron pang isang minuto. 12 segundos na natitira dito sa laro. So it's still not a lost cause here for the white shirts. They One. just need a stop here. Right, one minute remaining. I na sabi na matagal pa to. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, 81-77 ahead. Tantuay, 
Check that, son. One night, go for goal. Larry Rodriguez with a jumper and the bucket. Go to your vets when in doubt. Timeout is called and it's brought to you by Astig Roasters Coffee. to 3.3 seconds to go in overtime Lamang po ang San Juan Knights go for goal 83-77 and we now look at that last play Larry Rodriguez cool na cool na jumper when in doubt trust your bets so tingin natin Javi kung ano pa ang magagawa dito ng entrance para makabalik with 51 seconds left to go sa Lada, 3 point shot short baiting for the foul there sa Lada, pero hindi tumawag ang ref but what they needed there was a quick basket a 2 or a 3 whichever came first either it's Lada missing on that opportunity yeah and they have to live with that Orlan Wamar 8 to shoot drives it in misses it Fran you now looking for Pambe Raimundo. He will shoot the three. Too strong. And now Orbeta and Wamar will dribble out that clock. As Fran Yu is slow to get up. What a game, Avi. What a game indeed. Definitely a game that lived up to its billing. A battle of undefeated squads. But just a better team came to play here and we needed an extra five minutes to decide the outcome. San Juan Knights go for gold coming out on top. What a game, what a day. Two overtime games in one day. And the final score, 83 to 77. San Juan Knights gold remain undefeated here in field basket Subic Championship. While entrance Buraki de la Ia Batanga City Tantuay Athletics absorbs their first loss so we're now getting ready for our best player of the game ito na siya tinatawag na he will best player is Andrian right Andrian Nokum and my partner Javi Palanya will be interviewing Andrea Nogum, our best player of the game. And we are with our Coco Life best player of the game, Adrian Nokum. Adrian, just ako unang muna itanong sa'yo, ilang seconds ka tumigil magkape sa ere kanina? De, uh, yun na yung ano, strength ko eh. Kung sabi kasi ni Coach sa amin, kung ano lang yung role mo, gampanan mo lang yung role mo. Yun yung At yung role mo talagang uh, you performed it to the hilt. Anong thoughts mo na 3-0 na kayo, kayo ngayon at number one kayo sa liga? Sa amin, di namin iniisip yun kasi uh, ang sabi lang sa amin ni Coach, huwag niyo isipin yung, yung, ano, yung standing natin. Tuloy-tuloy lang, laging depensa lang. Yun lang, depensa lang. Alright, so Adrian, baka may mga gusto ko batiin. Uh, Unang-una, binabati namin si Sen. Uh, Nandiyan si Sen, sumuporta sa amin. Uh, sa mga family ko, yung anak ko, tsaka yung mga batang tundo. Alright, that was our Coco Life Best Player of the Game. Adrian Nocum, nanalo po sila. San Juan Knights go for gold over M-Trans, Boracay, De La Ia, Batangas City, Tanduay Athletics in overtime. Back to our panel. Thank you, Javi Palanya. Once again, the score is 83 to 77. San Juan Knights go for gold, remain undefeated 
in the field basket Subic Championship at namamayag pa ang mga batang tondo Javi kanina si Alwin and Alday ang best player sa second game and then ngayon naman si Andrea Nocum that's why right. that's right uh, mga batang tondo namamayag pag dito sa ating last two last two games no and here are our team standings of course San Juan Knights going out on top here in the battle of undefeated squads they are now 3 and 0 Nueva Ecija, best friend, and Emtrans, Boracay, De La Ia, Batanga City, Tanduay Athletics tied for second spot at 2 and 1 together with Davao Occidental Tigers, who also won earlier today. And AICC as well, 7A Primus, also with an identical 2 and 1 slate. Medical Depot and Burlington EOG at 1 and 2 apiece. And our ating winless squads, Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors, Mountain Lupa Defenders, and FSD Makati Army, both, uh, all three with identical. 0-2 records. That is right, Javi. And we will look at our games tomorrow. Montelupa Defenders versus AICC Manila. 7A Primus versus Pasig Santa Lucia Realtors. And the third game will be Nueva Ecija Best Friend versus FSD Makati. Tuloy tuloy ang basketball dito sa Field Basket Subic Championship. Brought to you by Coco Life. This has been Eman Cabiles alongside Javi Palanya. Maraming salamat po for watching and good night.